When the snagrit comes out of the ground, it has rocks surrounding it. So the first thing I'll do is start to create a rock base. Using my X-Acto knife, I'll slice off the roundness of the clay and flatten the sides to create a rock-like pattern. I'll take some stone-colored eyeshadow that has a sheen to it to add some texture. After that, I'll take black eyeshadow to dust around the low points to give it some depth. After the rocks are done, I'll be building up some aluminum foil to create the general shape of the body. I'm going to be adding scales, so first I'll paint the aluminum foil blue to make sure there won't be any silver shining in between them. To make this creation a lot easier to work with, I'll be adding the rocks around the body's base and then baking it to solidify everything. Before adding on the scales, I'll be attaching a toothpick where the head will be created a little later. I used my clay machine to evenly roll out my clay, and I'll be using my cookie cutters to create different varying sizes of scales. After flattening the scales to my work surface, I'll take some metallic blue eyeshadow to give the scales a realistic look. While I work my way up the body, the scales will go from larger to smaller. Now that the scales are on, I'm going to bake it again. To create the head, I'll be making a ball of aluminum foil and then gluing it onto the toothpick I added earlier. Once it's secured, I'll paint it white. Now I'm going to move on to making the beak and the eyes. To create the top and bottom of the beak, I'll cut out two large yellow triangles. For the eyeball, I'll use some icy blue eyeshadow to give it a reflective shine. Using some more eyeshadow, I'm going to shade the edges of the eyes and the top and bottom of the beak to give everything a little bit more depth. Now I'm going to bake these pieces in the oven and when they come out, I'll paint on their final details. Now I'll glue on the beak and attach the eyes. For the final step, I'll be creating a bunch of feathers and attaching them from the back to the front to build out the head.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my other awesome Nintendo creations on my channel and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.